I'm the only one who's seen Puss in Boots: The Last Wish, right? So I'll just do I'll do even quicker than Ever Babylon because yeah. I didn't do that as quick as I said it would be. Um, so Puss in yeah. Boots like is a movie that I've been seeing like I guess people saw some like early premieres because I feel like I've seen like tweets about mm-hmm. it for like a month or two for now of people like hyping it up and like believe the hype. Like I mean, it's not the greatest movie you're gonna ever see, but it's not a meme or a joke. People hyping this up. Like I give it an eight point one out of ten for four stars. Like it's, it's genuinely four point one a moment. Like, yeah, it, it's a genuinely very good movie like the the animation's awesome like obviously i'm not going to compare it to into the spider verse but it's like something similar in terms of like there's an animation style for the movie but then once a fight scene starts like the animation style kind of switches up and it's like really cool how it does that um the voice acting's great genuinely funny like that to me like a good mark of a good like animated like quote-unquote kids movie is like when there's jokes that like kids will laugh at, but then there's also jokes in there that like the kids might not necessarily get but like the adults will be like oh that's funny but like none of the kids are gonna understand this um and there's like a genuinely like engaging plot with like an emotional story arc um felt very similar to like most animated movies these days where there's not much room to breathe like it's an hour and a half and like you know kids attention span so it's like storyline 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 like there's no like like it just goes very fast so i mean the time flies through the movie um there was genuine moments i laughed out loud like i said animation was great and just genuinely like just a solid ass plot. Like I just think all of, I think everyone here will watch this movie and be like, that's a genuinely just good movie. Um, so I'm certain this is a movie I'll love. Yeah. Well, yeah, and like, like that's the fuck I hate movie. being a, I hate being this kind of guy, but like, they, it's just genuinely like cute. Like the animation of the mm-hmm. cats. Like, I believe it. I freaking believe cute, it. dude. And like, Puss I, is, I thought this would be like a minions thing. Like where everyone was like meme at first. I, I didn't think it'd be like actually good, but every review I've seen has been really no, positive. Yeah. So basically, and this is the last one wasn't good. Was it? The la- mm-hmm. I can't remember. No, I don't even think it was was pretty, the original Puss in Boots. Yeah, okay. Like like so basically, like here's here's a quick plot, and like there's no spoilers. Like genuinely, like if you looked at the plot, this is what it is. So Puss in Boots: The Last Wish is basically you know cats have nine lives. He has died eight times at this point, so he is on his last life. So if he dies, he's done. And there's like this magical wish that you that this one super rich like big greedy guy has that him and some other like assassins are trying to steal for different reasons in their life that they need to wish to change their luck or change their life. And his wish he's trying to get is to wish for more lives. So that's ultimately the plot is he's on his last life and like kind of like crazily like tackles like anxiety like pretty well in this movie. Like he has a lot of panic attacks and stuff. And I'm like, damn, like is this like animated kids movie? Like actually like tackling real world issues like better than i've seen a lot of genuine films do it so i i loved oh my god but there's there's like five teenage girls sitting right the row in front of us and our theater wasn't that big but they picked the seats right in front of me and riley and they were just like the classic like after school go see a movie but we don't even care about the movie we're just like hanging out they were just on their phones like laughing like messing with each other the whole time not watching the movie like i genuinely just wanted to like kick their seats i hope time. you said something they so like the you thing say is, things to people in public seth i <laughs> i've I went, never I said went, anything I, ever to a person I, so in public. I, no because i'm like i don't like people but i will tell people i don't like people so i went with my mom <laughs> once and there were this couple next to us it was when we went to see men so I had a guy snoring behind me at first, all right, which was quite funny. I, men was a bit shit anyway. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I had I had this couple, and they were my age, and they just wouldn't shut up. And then eventually, I was like, I turned around, and went, "Can you like shut the fuck up, please?" And then, <laughs> and then they shut up because the thing is, if you don't say anything, they're not going to shut up. You have to, you I know, have to tell them. I know. No. I don't, I, I don't want to inconvenience and anything. i would I have I in this one it, Anna, Anna hates me i do it all the time all i the would time. have in this one but the only reason i didn't is because like cam said the guy's snoring like the whale's a very quiet movie like there is a score but it's very emotional and muted not very loud and then there's dialogue mm. whereas puss in boots like there's so much action sequences and loudness going on that for 90 percent of the movie didn't even bother me that they were like talking and stuff because like it's such a loud like the movie's like loud action so like you can i didn't really hear them but the the part that pissed me out the most is they talked to Shit Thunder in the end, which is when it gets super emotional. And I genuinely think this movie could have made me cry. Like, I actually think it would have made me cry. But they were so fucking loud and talking and fucking around in front of me that, like, you can't get locked into an emotional moment like that. So that part, like, I feel like a little beast piece of, like, a movie moment was stripped from me. So that part pissed me out. But at that point, like, the movie was done. So I was like, whatever, go on with your... I didn't realize how good the cast was. There's some really good acts in this. Yeah, movie. like Florence Pugh is like the main ca- uh, female cat. And... Really? Olivia Coleman. 
Yeah, your favorite. I sneak her into like every episode now. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> need to uh, rewatch Puss in Boots because I have it at an 83 out of 100 and a four out of five stars. I don't remember. I don't really remember it to be honest with you. That's probably <laughs> something I watched a couple five. years Maybe ago. But I yeah, I don't know. It's. I mean, it's like it's a 2.9 on Letterbox. It's probably not as good as I have rated, but I don't I know. Maybe I, maybe I liked it at the time. 